Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the Monday's Coronation Street episode, Toyota Battersby was nervous as she traveled to the hospital to find out if she had cancer. After having sex with Nick a few weeks prior, Toya tested positive for pregnancy. Toya was thrilled to receive the news after a grueling few weeks, and she looked forward to being a mother and father to Nick. Unfortunately, Toya ended herself in the hospital when a doctor informed her that the test had actually returned false positive. She learned that the pregnancy test was inaccurate because of the disease and that there's a possibility she has ovarian cancer. After that, Toya had a scan and she visited the hospital tonight to get the results. But before then, Toya was once more preoccupied with the Institute. Toya instructed Leon to speak with Rowan Emery's Cooper about his criminal past after she came upon an article detailing it. Leen sat down at the bistro, showed Rowan the story, and asked questions. She was shocked to hear that Rowan verified every detail of the article. He then went on to totally control Leen by assuring her that the version of him that stole wasn't the one she was currently seeing. Rowan said that he changed his name to symbolize that he was someone entirely different, and Lean understood every word. Lean was irritated and tired when she told Nick and Toya this. Unable to handle her sister, Toya therefore made the decision to sneak off for her hospital visit by herself. Toya was moved when Nick showed in and took a seat next to her while she was waiting. Toya and Nick eventually took a seat to talk with the consultant. He disclosed Toya's diagnosis of germ cell ovarian cancer, which will require surgery and maybe treatment later. While returning home, Nick and Toya bought themselves a little extra time by indulging in a dessert at the cafe. Upon returning to the apartment, Toya disclosed her illness to Leon and mentioned that Nick had accompanied her as a support system. Initially, Leon sobbed and gave Toya a hug. Afterwards, however, Leen claimed her sister's negativity and past trauma had affected her physical health due to her distorted perception of reality brought forth by Rowan's cult. Nick and Toya were eager to clarify that, despite the potential effects on one's physical health, burying trauma rather than facing it cannot cause cancer. Leen sat down with Nick and apologized for her behavior as Toya left for her room. She assured him that she loved him and that she would be less talkative about the Institute. Toya told Nick and Lean some unsettling news when she got back. Toya, who was obviously concerned about their chemistry, announced that she would be going to her hospital visits by herself. She feels Nick and Lean should be concentrating on mandating their relationship, not questioning Toya about her disease. This is concerning. But will Nick let Toya handle the situation by herself? As the tragic conclusion to Paul Foreman's narrative occurs, Coronation Street icon Peter Ash has revealed his next job. In late 2023, Paul received the devastating news that he had only six months to live. Paul was diagnosed with motor neurone disease the previous year. Due to his declining health over the last few months, he has been informed that using the stairlift to enter and exit the apartment is no longer safe. Paul and his spouse, Billy Mayhew, will be spending a day together in a forthcoming episode that will give viewers a glimpse into Paul's daily life. Viewers will hear Paul's innermost thoughts as a voiceover because his speech has seriously deteriorated. Actor Daniel Brocklebank said to Metro.co.uk that Paul's death is the next significant thing to happen. So sadly, Paul's narrative is about to finish. Of what was to follow, he declared, obviously, we've got Paul's demise, really. The next big item will most likely be that. The upcoming months will see the release of some truly lovely things. Paul's death is likely to occur in the next weeks, based on a number of recent photos that showed the cast recording some funeral sequences. On his website, actor Peter Ash who has been playing Paul since 2018, 
disclosed that he already has another job planned following Corey. As he joins the cast of Aladdin and Oldham this Pando season, Peter will adopt a whole new persona after Paul's passing. Putting on a panto at Oldham's Queen Elizabeth Hall at the end of the year is going to be a lot of fun, he made known to his disciples. Daniel acknowledged that he doesn't yet sure what will happen to Billy after Paul's passing. The screenplay writers have Billy in their hands. Have no idea because we just receive our scripts every few weeks. Take note of this space. As they anxiously anticipate Kit Green's next move, Coronation Street viewers are certain he is keeping another secret from his new family. The police officer, played by Jacob Roberts, was first introduced to the audience of the ITV soap opera earlier this year when Bernie Winter, Jane Hasselgrove, embarked on a quest to locate her long-lost son. Soon after his birth, Zodiac was adopted and given the new name Christopher Green. Bernie, posing as a janitor, looked through Kit's drawers when she happened to stumble across him. To the dismay of DS Lisa Swain, Kit appeared to hold a grudge against Bernie and haul her into the police station without cause. When it became apparent that he was Bernie's biological son, he made it plain that he didn't want anything to do with her or her family. He did, however, seem to have a change of heart and has continued to cause his birth mother hardship, much to the dismay of the admirers. According to the Manchester Evening News, he has succeeded in turning Bernie's other children, Paul Foreman and Gemma Winter Brown, against her in the midst of losing his adoptive mother. On Monday, July 22, poignant moments unfolded as Paul, suffering from motor neurone disease that was discovered last year and is terminally sick, assembled his family with the assistance of his spouse, Billy Mayhew. In his dying moments, he conveyed to them how much he needed them and not in conflict with one another. Billy held a family meeting, during which Paul played a pre-recorded confession to his loved ones, pleading for an end to the conflict within the family and disclosing his terminal sickness. Billy's dire need for his mother's support was made clear as his condition worsened. Paul's poignant plea struck a chord with the family, setting up a heartfelt scene at the Rivers. Gemma, who is going to be evicted along with Chesney, was depressed about the lack of reasonably priced apartments in the interim. But Kit made a suggestion that he had found a home near his new family, which has Corey fans abuzz with theories. What if you were proposed? I think Kit has bought Gemma's house because he said he has found somewhere nearby to live. Someone else said, Kit has definitely bought Gemma's house. He might use it against Bernie in some way because I don't think that he is being completely honest about wanting to have a relationship with her. I wouldn't trust him at all. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.